It's all over, and the Kings win again, 138 to 114. And let me tell you something. Tonight's postgame show is going to be a dandy. Trust me on that. And holy moly, Jim Bob Bowley. No, it's not Jerry Reynolds, but what we have for you tonight is going to be fun. 138 to 114, the Kings roll over the Portland Trailblazers. So great to have you here on the postgame show. As always, we are joined by Ryan and Sackton. How are you, buddy? Doing great, buddy. Another Kings win. Another Kings win. And, uh, you know, we talk, you talked about this at the pregame, and I always talk about this every game. How about the assist to turnovers tonight? How about those numbers, huh? How about 38 assists and only 13 turnovers? That's going to win you games every night in this league. That's winning basketball, Grant. 38 is even a lot for the Kings. But holy moly, even if you're playing a bad team, that is solid as it comes. 2023 Pacific Division champions. Absolutely right. It is so great have everybody here yeah light the beam absolutely light the beam and the kings come home to take on the san antonio spurs the playoffs begin in two weeks okay so all right (laughs) we are so grateful to have you here on youtube and for those of you that are watching via periscope on twitter it's so great to have you and our special guest is none other than john john no helmet john with the beard. How the hell are you, buddy? I'm fantastic, Grant. How are you? This is I'm good. All right. When years. did you start growing that beard? How long ago? How many how many years? At least 16 years. The last time I cut it short at all was over eight. But we've been doing this for 16 years at least. And I said, if the Kings make the playoffs, I'm shaving this thing off. Tonight is the night. I'm a man of my word. I'm from Sacktown, and I'm not going to back down. We're doing it. This is it, guys. Are you ready for it? We're ready, man. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Who's going to be? Who's going to be doing the honors? This is my son, Steve, from Sacktown. Let's do it, Steve. Let's do it, buddy. How are we're you? Gonna, we're going to save a little braid first. Okay. My wife's not here yet. Oh. Ready to start? All right, now, Ryan, I'm going to put him on full screen for a minute. I'll be right back with you. How's that? That's a good start. All right, you see that? It's a good start. All right. I I love it. All right, I'm going to – you're going to be on the screen all by yourself for a few minutes. We want to get a good look at that. Go ahead. Tuck your hair behind your ear so I don't clip your hair. Let's pop this off. Where's that? Here, Kimmy. There we go. Look, put that on there. Poke all the hair behind there. Hi, everybody. Something like that. Hey Ryan, is yeah. that a good look or what, buddy? Ryan, oh, is that a good look solid. or what? How are you doing, guys? Oh, John, you're looking it's good. Me, I'm normal now. <laughs> you look like you're ready to go in the game. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. We got to go full oh, screen on this. Ooh. Talks cheap, boys. Here we go. Woo. Is it clipping you? I think it's going all right. <laughs> Here's the first big piece. Here. Here we go. <laughs> that will not be up on the website for sale. <laughs> it's clogging up as quick. More clippers. Where, where's the <laughs> They're coming. There we go. Oh, boy. Here we go, Here guys. Here we go. <laughs> what if I try it with the... Hey, just focus. <laughs> Get in here, Wyatt. Get in here, brother. Wow. I'm Wyatt. How's it John. going, Grant? How's it going, Ryan? It's going great. We just got someone on the chat line saying, if you don't like that, you don't like facial hair. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If you don't like that, you don't like facial hair. Hey, I love facial hair. Watch this. John, hey, I don't know you. what kind of things I'm going to find in here. It might be a rat's nest. 
John, you got a whole team of people there shaving that beard, man. Hey, I got a good family. I got a good. I got a good group of family and friends, Ryan. Holy moly! Keep going, boys. Underneath, oh, it's starting to feel good. It's starting to feel. Oh yeah. Hey, leave me a little goatee. I want to look something like that. Leave me a little this in here, and maybe we can get that done. So keep keep me something like that. Might have to put it up at the end, which is pretty much. I wore a Brad Miller jersey. He's got the nicest beard and the longest hair. So don't move. Don't move. I don't want to catch you. Okay. Things are going to the playoffs. What do you think? How freaking great is this, man? This is like awesome. the face. Straight down. Hey, yes. He's the Finch that stole Clinchmas. Oh, I am. <laughs> I haven't seen this face in 15 years. 15, 16 at least. 15 years. <laughs> Gotta get up in there and get that cheek. You gotta see that cheek definition. Look right at there, this. You know Look at that. Hey, my wife is not gonna know me. She's gonna be <laughs> here in about 15 minutes. Where else can you get coverage like this? Seriously. This is how we do it, Grant. We don't this back is, down, baby. I love it. Sacramento. I love it. Hey, you ready to take the good take the middle? This is funny. Can there's some left. Hey, how about right. this, John? Somebody just said there's some leftover King's dog from 2006. I just saw come out of there. <laughs> <laughs> some leftover King's dog from 2006. Uh, so and then John, this one says, don't shave again until the Kings are champs. Ooh. Check it out. When the Kings are champs, I'll grow a new beard. You think <laughs> I won't? Trust me. I'd say. Uh, the next full moon. The next full right, moon. Let me get it. My buddy Wyatt. Get... I love him. Expose that chin, you know what I'm saying? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. do we need to make this go right in between here and kind of keep that down like that, that guys? Like, what what do you think? Oh, well, I don't know. What do you think, Ryan? Would Brad be proud of me or what? Yeah. Brad, my best. Yeah. Brad would be very proud of you. Trust me. <laughs> I love yeah. that guy. Yeah. No, we're just getting the ball. <laughs> we're getting the ball yeah. a bit. I'm getting in there yeah. as best I can. He's got an interesting grain pattern right here. Grain pattern. You hear that? <laughs> this is my son. Uh, Somebody said you're eight pounds lighter now, John. Eight pounds? I thought it was only three pounds. Here, you take it. You got a four pound rat? rat. See what Here, you take <laughs> a rat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow. I got this set at three millimeters. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's getting clogged on that deep. Here. Let's go this way. Just let this shave you down. All right. I do it every day. <laughs> Wyatt Klein on shears. <laughs> It'll cut that down. Never did sheep, only cattle. But... I told you. I told you the other day, man. It's going to be like harvesting wool. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. A that's lot of people good. take it before and after. Damn, what do you think, guys? <laughs> I hey, like that. Ryan, what do you think, buddy? No, I think that looks yeah, solid that's right there. Hey, start. hey, you clean up the sides a little bit more right there. You clean up the neck and then you keep this. That looks solid, John. All right. Yeah. Oh, boy. Keep oh, going, oh boy. We're yeah. going to go play basketball. <laughs> Moving right by the jugular now. <laughs> right by the jugular. That's my buddy Wyatt. I trust him. With my John, life. all your friends aren't going to recognize you when they see you, man. No. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. You got a I good can't technique. hit that side. You want to come over here, Wyatt? How deep are you on that <laughs> side? You want to slide? No, you got to bring that one over here. <laughs> yeah, to make it even. Hey, easy. Grant and Ryan, yeah. you guys got your head shaved recently, too. That yeah. was a fun-ass event. I can't yeah. thank you guys enough for letting me do this. Are you kidding me? It's our pleasure. <laughs> Kings fans love this stuff, man. This is great. Oh, look at this pile of fur. Oh, wow. wow. What's your What's your dog's name? <laughs> Roscoe. Roscoe. Uh, what's up, Roscoe? 
Oh Roscoe, Montana. Uh huh. <laughs> Here you go. Wow. You know what? Save it. <laughs> yep. Save that. Put it back. So is that a good right. start? What? You get a close up of that. You're gonna have to do it in front of a mirror. You're gonna mess yep. it up. That's the bulk of it. All right. That was a pretty decent start. What do you think, guys? John, that's great. That is great. <laughs> Fun as hell, Grant. You're the best, John. You're the no, best. Grant, you're the best. You tell me I'm the best, but you are the best, man. I said man. I was going to do it. You know, I said I was going to do it so freaking long ago. If the Kings make the playoffs, I'm shaving my beard. Yeah. And check it out. I'm from Sacktown, and I don't back down. And this is how it. we go, and that's why I rolled my sleeves up to the freaking neck tonight. <laughs> and Grant, we, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing it. Don't back right. down, Slack Town. Hey, the goatee. Hey. <laughs> Goatee's a good look on you, John. I like that goatee. That's good for you, yep. man. That's perfect. Not too bad. I'll, yep. I'll tune it up a little more. Maybe I'll give this a number three or a number two. We'll make it nice. We'll make it nice before the end. You know. You can always do this Oh, here's Kimmy. Oh, look at Kimmy. She wants to weave the old. Here's the old beard. Uh, she wants to weave the, the old beard back on. See, I gotta wow. stand up. See, I'm only six feet tall, but I go 202. So if I stand up a little bit, throw that back on. Just for old time's sake. Oh my God. Oh man. You wow. are a beauty, John. I uh, hear why it says brush this down a little. There you go. Huh? huh? Yeah, we just got. I'm a new man, huh? <laughs> and you know what, John? It's always great coming on after a blowout Kings win, too, buddy. Hey, Grant, we've been doing this for so freaking long. Yeah. I commend you for everything you've gone through. And Ryan, thank you. You're you're a great individual, a great young broadcaster, and we're going to be doing this for. Hey, we got 50 more years in this doing it, doing it, guys. Hey, when I retire, I'm going to get into your business. I'm going to try to talk for a living. That'll be fun, huh? No, no, no. No, you're going to be the chef because you're like, you you and Ryan cook the most amazing dinners every night. So you're going to be the chef there, John. You're going to be our chef. That's what you're going to do. You're going to cook us. Or you're going to grill for us every night those great steaks and everything. Oh, Wait till you see that, Grant. We're going to do it, brother. We're going to do yeah. it. Well, hey, Ryan, I commend Ryan. He's shown me a lot of a lot of great stuff on the grill and his Italian cooking indoors. I want to taste some of his catchatory and so forth also. So I must commend you, Ryan, also for everything. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're getting all this together, Ryan, and just you asking an obscure question to Grant, if he'll shave his head and he's out of the blue said, <laughs> sure, I'll do it. <laughs> and then he wondered about his decision doing that. And then uh, you asked me last week, you want to do it on live? And I'm all sure I'll do it. Then I was thinking, what the hell was I thinking doing that yeah, live on yeah. TV? So check it out. Well, We're not backing down. Hey, John, I want to thank you for coming on the post game tonight. Uh, you're thank you're you a great man for doing that. A lot of fans just really love that. So we're going to talk to you uh, again. You enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, go Aztecs, Ryan. Thank you, John. Thank you. You are welcome, brother. See you guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Man, how great How great was that, huh? Wow. <laughs> That's a special moment. That's a top five moment in this yeah. show. Easy. Yeah, that is a top five moment. Uh, I think maybe one of my rants is in there. Top five moment. Uh We'd have to think about that. We've had some pretty good moments since you and I started doing that, do, yeah. doing this. But that that that's pretty good right there. You know, that's pretty good. That's energy right there. That oh. that is yeah. energy personified. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the only thing that would have been better if they had showed that in the Kings locker room during the post game. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we'll we'll have to find a way to get that to him. I think we can yeah. make that happen. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Uh, shout out! Uh, shout out from the. Uh, Listen app crew, we love that. Listen hey, app hey. crew, loving that. Absolutely. Man, this is very funny. All right. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to sleep after that. You know, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> well. how, how are we supposed to do a show after that? I mean, 
mean, to be honest, that was that was just awesome. And you know what? It it, it it's Sacramento personified. That's who yeah. these Kings fans are. Yeah. And um, it, it's passion. That's why we do this. That's why they do that. Well, we really appreciate everybody uh, joining us here on the stream. By the way, <laughs> the Kings blew out the Blazers, <laughs> one thirty-eight to one fourteen. That's forty-seven wins now, Ryan. Forty-eight's next for the Spurs. 50s really within reach. Now, uh, we talked about the scores around the NBA tonight with uh, Memphis beating the L.A. Clippers, so the Kings still are two games back, all right? Mm-hmm. I, I think 50 is going to happen, Grant. I, I, I if too. you noticed here in the uh, closing minutes of this game, the starters were still in. Sabonis was still in up until about the last two or three minutes. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Did you? I didn't. I didn't, but it's Coach Brown has done that from time to time yep. this season. So if they're going to play that aggressive, there's a high likelihood 50 happens. All right. Let me look at the updated standings right now in the Western conference. Okay. So Denver, they are three games up on the loss column uh, over Memphis. All right. And again, that that's significant. I think we need to go over that a little bit. I mean, yeah, the loss column is the only thing that matters. Um, very significant. And that game, by the way, is not over right now. The Suns and the Nuggets. So th that that could change. They're, if they lose, then it's two games, obviously. All right. Memphis won. They're 49 and 28. We know that the Kings won. They're 47 and 32 games back in a loss column. But remember, the Kings would own the tiebreaker should they end up even with Memphis after 82 games. Phoenix currently playing. Uh, they could go to 42 and 35. The Clippers lost. So if the Suns hold on and win, the Clippers are now two back in the loss column. And again, that is significant. Mm -hmm. Golden State has 37 losses. They are tied uh, with the Clippers for same record. The Lakers win tonight. They win against the Bulls. They are now seventh and 39 and 38. The Pelicans are 39 and 38. And Minnesota 39 and 39. And Oklahoma City now in 10th at 38 and 40. How crazy is that, huh? It, it's nuts. I mean, we're talking about teams that are starting to hit their stride that could end up in the play-in, right? And yep. it's kind of a team you don't want to see, depending on who comes out of it. But this is going to be, we've been saying it, fun to watch for the next yep. week or so to see how this transpires. Absolutely. And keep an eye on Denver, too, in that game going on yeah. right now with the uh, Phoenix Suns without Nikola Jokic. So uh, right now with 6.30 left in that game, uh, if I'm looking at this correctly, and I think I am, it's 92-85 to 85, Phoenix uh, at the halfway mark of the fourth, now 92 to 87. So big game going on there. That That's a big game for both of those teams. But uh, for Sacramento, 138 to 114. So happy to have you here. So happy that uh, we are uh, being supported by Bennett's with a third location coming soon to Rockland. Roseville and Sacramento, prime seafood and steaks. If I'm going seafood, my favorite is the redfish. It comes with a side of sautéed spinach. It is Awesome. If I'm going steak, it's tough to beat the bone and ribeye or the porterhouse. Uh, the prime New York's great. They have hanger steak. It's all there for you on the weekends. Prime rib, over 50 different types of wine available by the glass at Bennett's. If you go to Bennett'sRestaurants.com, you can check out their menu. Food to go. You're going to love it. Get down and say hello to Brian and everyone else down there. Huge Sacramento Kings supporters. 138-114. Sacramento zeroing in now on 50. Three more, Ryan. Three more. Which three do you think it's going to be, Grant, if they go 50? All right. I think it's going to be San Antonio for sure. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think you're going to win at Dallas. And then I think Denver is going to have a meaningless game at the end of the year, and I think the Kings win that for their 50th. Okay. I, I think it's going to be San Antonio, Dallas, and the Warriors. I think those okay. are going to be the three games. I think the Kings win that last home game before the playoffs. I would love it to be the Warriors. That would be great for so many reasons. Yes. Okay, it would give them confidence if they have to play the Warriors in the first round. I'm not saying they don't have confidence, but you know what I'm saying. It kind of right. gives you that little mental edge. And last home game, a thank you to the fans for how phenomenal they've been all year. That would be perfect. That that you could not have a, a you could not have a better script for this year then to win the 50th game in the last home game of the year against the Warriors and then shut everybody down for the Denver game. Amen. That's exactly right. They get a chance to make up for the Minnesota game where the script was perfect <laughs> yep. to clinch. So hopefully that plays out for them. You going to be able to sleep tonight? 
Yeah, yeah, I think I'll be able to sleep a little bit tonight. I mean, it's a big weekend. I've been uh, on the phone constantly with a bunch of my guys out there. But, um, you know, either way it goes, just what an exciting time to yeah. even have a team there. So, Absolutely. This is yeah. funny. Uh, Finch reminds me of one of my seven dwarves, Sleepy. <laughs> Definitely not Sleepy. He does not remind me of Sleepy. That guy can <laughs> That guy's got more energy than the both of us. Oh, my gosh. You need to take a shot of Finchy and put that into uh, Connor. And oh, gosh. You'd be good to go. Freaking awesome. So, again, the Kings roll tonight uh, over the Blazers. Anything really stand out tonight that we even need to talk about in the particulars of the game? Uh, no, not really. I thought uh, yeah. Davion, I, I liked the way that Davion played in mm -hmm. his minutes. And um, I liked Keegan being a little bit more aggressive. It, it's mm -hmm. the little things in these games. And I liked that, you know, they showed the rest of the NBA. If you're going to run zone against us, we're starting to figure this out. So Next up, the Spurs. Next right? up, the Next, Spurs. Yep. And they lost tonight to the Warriors. The final score there from uh, the Chase Center was 130 to 115. You see what the Warriors did in that fourth quarter of that game? No. The Warriors outscored. This was a close game going into the fourth. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, the Warriors trailed going into the fourth by one point. Okay? okay. Spurs were up by a point after three. The Warriors outscored them in the fourth quarter, 43 to 27. Hmm. See, and people say, oh, the Warriors aren't that good anymore. It's the Warriors still. They can still put up 40-point quarters, just like yeah. your Sacramento Kings. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is a really good question. Why are the Kings so good? You know why? I think their general manager pulled off amazing deals. That's number one. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabonis is even better than I thought. I mean, I got to give you credit. I, I knew he was an all-star. I knew he was good. I didn't think he was this good every night. And... He has made De'Aaron Fox into an elite point guard in this league. That, in my opinion, are those those are the three reasons right there. Well, and you could also say Fox has really helped Sabonis' game as well. I mean, Fox, if Sabonis didn't have a Fox in Indiana. But he was um, still a two-time All-Star before he, he got here. He was still a two-time All-Star, but, I mean, he was not double-double, triple-double almost every single night like he is now. Um, I, I think the other thing that we're neglecting, Coach Brown, it, it just accountability and yep. the system that he runs. He's a winner. He's a yep. pro, he, cha won championships with the Warriors. Um, and, you know, the way that he treats his team, Grant, you could probably speak to it. You've seen so many coaches in and out of Sacramento. Coach Brown treats the last guy on the bench the same as he treats De'Aaron yep. Fox or Sabonis. Yep. I love and it. How, and how big of a difference does that make when you have a coach that coaches that stuff? Huge. It's gigantic. It's huge. It keeps the locker room together, and uh, every single player respects the coach uh, big time. Uh, let's talk about Kevin Durant for a minute. Yeah, he's got 30 points on 11 of 15 shooting. He's back. The West needs to take uh, just notice of that, okay? It's a big difference, Ryan. Well, Grant, not only is he back, he's fresh. He has missed so yes. much basketball. I mean, he, his legs are going to be fresh for the postseason. All right, Ryan, here's the question for you, buddy. If you could pick one, Kings or Aztecs to win the title? Oh, my gosh. Um, I, I would have to go Aztecs uh, just because of, you know, that's my school. It's where I played. Um, they're like family to me. Uh, but uh, it, Kings are a close second. So, but I know the Kings are going to get one. I think the Kings will be back before SDSU is back. So let's put it that way. So. All right. I love that. All right, don't forget that uh, we are also brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. For all of your plumbing needs and repairs, just go to SacServicePlumbing.com or call the number on your screen. New Works Plumbing, they have got a fix for you. Again, SacServicePlumbing.com or call the number on your screen. Kings win it tonight in a blowout fashion. Uh, final four minutes in the Suns-Nuggets game, and it is uh, 95 to 89 currently in favor of Phoenix. Right here, it's uh, Sacramento that we're talking about. And really nothing to really nitpick on tonight. There's nothing that they did tonight that I was alarmed with. I mean, they took care of business. They scored 71 in the first half. They didn't let off the pedal in the second half. So all good. I know they're playing an inferior team, a team that doesn't have anybody on the court, but you still got to go out and perform. And they did that. 
That's right. Exactly right. And they did it at a high level. That's the thing. And, um, you know, also, we didn't mention Kessler Edwards. I thought he made a nice impact tonight and kind of got back in the flow of things. Yeah. Timmy, I understand the message, but here's what wins in the playoffs. Talent. Okay? Teams that have the best players. And the Phoenix Suns right now, assuming they're healthy when the playoffs start, they're going to be a very, very difficult team to beat. I'm not saying you can't beat them. But they're going to be hard to beat. They're going to be hard to beat. All right. So there you have it. Well, and uh, don't yeah. don't discount Phoenix's chemistry either. Think about how many times Chris Paul's come into Sacramento this year and dished out 15 assists, 19 assists. Those guys really know how to play together, with or without Durant. Yeah, I know Al McCoy very well, and he is retiring after 51 years as the voice of the Suns. I think he's almost 90 years old. He's either 89 or 90. Uh, he's one of the great people I've met in the business. Uh, I used to have him on my show all the time. Never said no to me. Uh, he's just a legendary figure. And I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, everyone loves Al McCoy. And every time we used to go to Phoenix or Phoenix used to come to Sacramento, Al always made a point to walk up to you and say hi. And, you know, he would want to talk to you. And he was very open and honest. He would tell you all the things going on with the organization, both good and bad. So, yeah, Al McCoy, not too many. I don't know if we'll ever have another Al McCoy. Think of that, 51 years. How about that? 51 years. Well, in a way, we have an Al McCoy here in Sacramento with Gary Gerald. What's Gary at now? Gary is now at 30. Well, the Kings moved in 85, and he started doing the games in 85. So what is that, 37? 37. Okay. So 53. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, as far as what Mark Jones says and doesn't say, you'd have to ask him, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, all of his sayings. Um, I think they speak for themselves. I'm, you know, again, you know what you're asking the wrong guy. I'm not the one saying those 95, 91, uh, two minutes, 13 seconds left in the fourth. Uh, the Phoenix suns are over. Uh, the Denver Nuggets. I'll just end this. We live in a society of double standards, okay? Uh, America should be nicknamed, instead of the United States of America, it should be called the United States of double standards because that's what the country has become. The United States of double standards instead of the United States of America. I think we should rename the country. Uh, but we should not rename the Sacramento Kings because they are Pacific Division champs and they have a chance to win 50 games. 50 games. How about that? Pretty special. The uh, dream yeah. season continues. Hmm. Unbelievable. Um, all right, so no injuries. Uh, you and I talked about this in the, the game 48 hours ago. I don't think there's any way in the world the Kings aren't at least three. They're, they're going to be three. We know that. They could be two. Outside chance they could be one, but let's be realistic here. Yeah. Two or three... You want to be two, but it's not that huge of a difference. Uh, here's the biggest difference I would see. If you're two, you're probably not going to play Phoenix. And I'm not saying you're going to play Phoenix if you're three, but that would pretty much, if you're two, you don't have to worry about the Phoenix Suns in the first round. I believe you won't have to worry about the Warriors either. It would be nice to dodge them in the first round. But other than that, the only thing that really matters for the Kings is to make sure that they don't have any injuries between now and the Denver game. That's what matters. Yeah. And the 50 game thing, I know it matters to the team, but that doesn't change technically what's going to happen or their playoff seedings. They are pretty much locked into that three mm -hmm. seed. Um, so it, it's injuries and how you play the guys and it's starting to get the guys ready for the playoffs at this point. I mean, there's yeah. a grant, maybe you can speak to this. Is there little things they can be doing in games like San Antonio to prepare for the playoffs? No, I mean, I think you've been doing that all year and uh, I, there's extensive scouting going on right now on the potential teams that you'll be playing, but you know, there really aren't any mysteries. It's just a matter of being right, being in the right frame of mind, but more than anything else, being healthy. You know, when you play this many games and you're playing four games a, a week and, and sometimes more, it's just about being healthy when the playoffs begin. And I think the team in the West that's the healthiest probably is the team that's going to come out uh, on top. And I think the real key in the West right now, now that we have Durant back, 
is if Steven Adams is coming back from Memphis, yes. and if so, when? Because I think they have as good a chance as anybody. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Memphis has uh, exceeded expectations without John Morant, still rolling for the most part with him now. And if Steven Adams comes back, watch out, because that's just the glue that brings everything together. I'm worried about a freak injury, too. You know why? Because the Kings haven't had that this year. I mean, you could say Sabonis, but he only missed one game, so I don't count that. Um, the Kings have still been lucky on the injury front, other than Kevin Herter missing, what, four games just recently. I mean, they right. have dodged the injury bug, and that's the only thing that could really derail this storybook season right now. If Fox were to go down or Sabonis would go down, that takes your air out of the balloon big time. And so you're right. You better hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, but on the flip side, I mean, there's really no reason to worry about it because a freak injury could happen off the court, too, yes. right? And yeah. it's the reality uh -huh. of this entire season for every single player that plays in the league. So um, everybody's on an even playing field when it comes to that. All right, so the Suns with uh, 55 seconds left are now up uh, in that game, uh, 97 to 93. We told you that Memphis beat the Clippers earlier, the Lakers won. Uh, the Warriors won. Next up, the San Antonio Spurs. And, of course, we'll be on with uh, pre, half, and post. Now, if you're asking Ryan, did he hear something that Jim Rome said? You know, that may be the stupidest question that we've received since we've been doing this stream for months. Ryan hears everything that the great Jim Rome says. Everything. He doesn't miss a show. Yeah, that would be true. Yeah, Jim uh, gave us run earlier this week when we clinched, and a couple weeks ago gave us run after yeah. the New York Knicks game. So awesome! Yeah. All right, Suns are going to beat the Nuggets uh, with 34 seconds left. They're up by seven, 100 to 93. So they're they're going to now 13 seconds left. So the Suns are going to move up a game, and the Nuggets are going to come back closer uh, to Memphis. So there you have it. Any final thoughts tonight? Uh, no. 2-0 uh, and o in Portland. Can't complain about that. Um, and just be focused for San Antonio. No letdowns. No letdowns. Um, All right. Be focused for San Antonio and move on to couple, the next. A couple of things. I'm looking for photos. If you are watching us abroad, uh, send us a photo of you in your Kings gear. I really want to get an international flavor. You know, I've also shown some photos from people uh, outside of California. We do that as well. Uh, don't forget, you can order T-shirts if you don't like that dot com shop. That's uh, if you don't like that dot com shop. Uh, this T-shirt is available right now. Again, go to the website and order yours. We will get that off to you. And uh, you see Ryan's Twitter handle right on his screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, just go to at Grant Napier Show at Grant Napier Show. Kings win. They have 47 wins, and the play should be off the hook for the Spurs game after the Kings will play for the first time at Golden One Center as a playoff participant. They're going to be in it in two weeks, but they're going to walk onto the floor as a team that's clinched the playoff spot. The crowd's going to go crazy for the Spurs game. Get there early if you're going to the game and soak in every moment of that. That's yeah. going to be pretty special. It is. All right. Thanks, buddy. You have a good uh, good luck to your Aztecs tomorrow. Really wishing you the best. Thanks, partner. I appreciate it. Have a good one. All right. And for everyone else, thank you very much for joining us here on the stream. Thank you to John for shaving the beard. Make it a great weekend. And thank you very much. Final thought is this. Oh, if you don't like that, you don't like Kings basketball. Oh, boy.